everybody, welcome to another episode of uh, Time to Go. It's actually a special episode as we welcome a celebrity guest, Bishop John Anderson from Southwest Minnesota. Uh, so this week we are talking about manna in the wilderness, right Justin? That's right, manna in the wilderness. So this is a, a text that kind of continues our journey from Genesis to Revelation. Uh, it's a text that you know kind of reminds us that God's people are growing up a little bit. Just a few weeks ago, we started this in Genesis, and God's people, Adam and Eve, were kind of acting like children. Uh, God gave them one rule, don't eat the fruit from that one tree. And of course, like a good toddler, they couldn't help themselves. They had, uh, they had to grab the apple and, and to eat the fruit. Uh, and so God's children have grown up. They're kind of teenagers now, and they're out, and they're whining, and they're complaining. Uh, no matter uh, all these things that God has done for them is not enough. They want more, and they're they're whining and complaining um, all the time. And so I thought, Bishop, you would be a great person to, to respond to this. You have a, a lot of history dealing with people in the church. Have you ever heard God's people whining and complaining over silly things before? Never. <laughs> <laughs> We're at our fall theological conference, so I'm with all of our rostered ministers and also youth directors and Chris Ed directors. Sometimes whining happens around the lunch table here. No. And pastors? <laughs> sometimes that happens. And in congregations, it also happens. You know, one of the things I notice often is people whine and complain about what they perceive they don't have. They focus on what they lack or what they perceive somebody else has. And the text also talks about how God provides manna. And I think we as congregations and as people do better when we notice what God has provided and we notice the assets, the experiences, the people that uh, God has placed around us. All of those are ways that, like manna, God provides for us. This is a really great text, a reminder for us that even those days where we feel like whining and complaining and uh, that God isn't giving us enough, uh, we remember that God does provide and continues to provide God's grace and love and forgiveness and even more than that, even bread from heaven sometimes. Uh, to fill our souls and our lives, that God sticks with God's people no matter what. Well, thanks for joining us today. Uh, we hope that this week as you're going about your lives that you do find indeed uh, the things that God is doing in your life and you're able to focus on the things that God is providing for you because I'm sure they are abundant. Um, but for now, it is time to go. Time to go. Thanks, Bishop Anderson. Yep, thank